All right, gamers, today we're gonna do a review on some products from Primo Golf Apparel. I've been wearing their stuff for about a year now, and I've amassed a little bit of a collection, so I'm gonna show you a lot of their stuff that I've got. You can check out their joggers. Got some shorts, got some belts, classic collar polo, and bladed collar polos. And we've got a hoodie, fresh in the bag still. I made a mess. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna check out today is gonna be their joggers, their flagship item. That's the one that you're gonna see on Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff. So we've got some freshies. I've got two pairs of the black ones, in regular and in short. Yeah. Waist size 31, just for reference, I'm six feet tall and I'm 170 pounds. I'll explain why I ordered the regular on the short in just a minute, but let's open up the regulars and see how they fit. And if at any point you want to check this stuff out for yourself, I'm going to put a link to their website down in the description along with the discount code that'll save you 15% off your entire order. If you see anything that you like, I would jump on it quickly because their stuff tends to sell out pretty fast, so get to it. So here's their black ones. This is the 31 regular. Good amount of stretch there. And their jogger leg band, ankle band, whatever it is. Has a zipper on it for, I guess, extra breathability. Has this nice tacky lining here. Help keep your shirt tucked in when you're out on the course. Their logo right there on the button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what they look like with the shirt untucked, tucked in, and then also casual with a t-shirt so you get an idea how you can wear these. So if you look at the website, they've added a couple different sizing options since I've last looked. They carry all the normal, just 28, 30, 32, all the way up there. And there's a couple in-between numbers. They do offer 29, 31, 33, 35. I fit into the 31, so that worked out perfectly for me. If you're not sure, they have a sizing chart that you can check out that helps out a lot. As far as the length goes, it used to just be short, regular, and tall. They've recently added extra short and extra tall, which is pretty cool. It doesn't look like that's on all of their different colorways, so check it out and see what they've got in your size. The only thing that I've noticed that I kind of dislike is that with that length, I do get like this little bit of almost fluff, like. I've gotten some bunching up down at the ankle, so I tend to just pull them up a lot and kind of straighten them out. So, so that's why I ordered two versions of these, the regular and the short version. I'm gonna see if that kind of helps with that bunching up down there. So let's try those on real quick. So th <laughs> these are really short. Um, going from regular to short probably took like two inches off of the bottom, off of the leg length. So, Unless you want to show off your ankles like this, I don't think this is the right move. I play golf in Connecticut, so I get a lot of cold weather golf. I don't think these are going to work for me. I like the regular length because I could wear uh, thermals underneath and have them covered. I might freeze my feet off in this. They do fit a little bit slimmer. I would like to see in the future if Primo would put out like a slim fit version. I don't know. But for now, these are not the move. Let's move from the joggers onto the shorts. Put those on real quick. Same thing, tucked, untucked, and casual. Let's go. Similar to their short, regular, tall, they've got three options for length. They've got seven inch, nine inch, and 11 inch. And then as far as the waist goes, they have all the even numbers, 28 up to 40. These ones that I'm wearing right now are the 11 inch because I'm not wearing seven inch shorts. <laughs> And similar to the joggers, they've got a zipper for the back pocket, along with their logo right there and logo on the button here. Moving on from the shorts, let's jump into their classic collar polo. For the classic collar polo, they've got small, medium, large. They have talls now, which is nice. Large, tall, XL, XL tall, two and three XL along with XL tall. So a lot of sizing options there. A ton of different colorways, which is nice. This is just their black option. You see it has a pocket on the front, accent on the collar, along with under the sleeve. I really like how the collar stands, stays up by itself. It doesn't just flop over like a normal cheaper shirt. And then along with that, the collar does have 
buttons underneath to keep the flaps down too, which is a really nice touch on it. Got their logo stitched in right there. And that offset cut on the corners. A bit of stretch to them, not a ton of stretch here, but there's a good bit of stretch. And again, for reference, I'm six feet tall. I'm a buck 70. This is a medium that I'm wearing right now. It fits nicely. Length is, length is really nice on it. I like the offset cut on it. It fits nicely when it's tucked in. And it's definitely not a loose shirt. This is an athletic fit and it feels like an athletic fit as well. So there's not a lot of room to play with. So if you do have a little meat in the middle, um, maybe try, try your normal size and then maybe try the next size up as well if you're not comfortable with it. Let's move on from the classic collar polo onto the bladed collar. And sizing for the bladed collar polos is same thing as the regular collar ones. You're gonna have small, medium, large, large, one, two, and three XL along with a couple tall options. A bunch of different colorways on this one as well. A couple little differences. It's gonna be this short collar right here. Again, accent on here, accent under the sleeve. But instead of the pocket, you're gonna get their logo stitched in right here. You're gonna get the logo stitched in down here. Again, with that offset cut on the sides. But I would say this is probably my favorite product from them. I this one's love the joggers, love the shorts, but this is this is by far my, my favorite product. I'd love to have all of them if I could. They just fit so nicely. They're super comfortable. Just like the other one, the collar just stays up all by itself. You can wear it tucked in, untucked on the course, but tuck in your shirts because we're not animals. This just feels like an outfit that I can wear, obviously, on the course, but I'll wear them to work, uh, I'll wear them to church, anywhere that I feel like I should be wearing some kind of chino or some kind of khaki pants and a collared shirt, I feel like this fits really well. So they just check all the boxes for me. All right, so let's open up the hoodie now and see how that fits as well. Size medium. Very interesting feel to this hoodie. The material feels very similar to their polo, just a little bit thicker, but let's pop it on. All right, so definitely an athletic fit on this hoodie. This is brand new, straight out of the bag, hasn't been worn, washed or anything like that, so I'm going off of, off of how it feels right now. But it's definitely pretty, pretty much skin tight on my arms. Through the chest, it's a bit tight, and then through the bottom, it's just a touch loose. These strings seem very long. Whoa. Let's look at what we've got. So front pouch, open on both sides. They're pretty long strings, but they're nice and they're rubber on the end there. So they definitely, definitely aren't gonna be fraying. Primo logo on the front. Primo stitch down on the bottom there. The length is almost identical to their polos. The longer that I'm wearing this, the more comfortable that I am feeling in it. When I first put it on, it did feel pretty tight, but it feels tight in an athletic way. Um, obviously, everything they're gearing towards is athletic fit. So I do feel like I can swing very easily wearing this. It feels lightweight, but I definitely think it's gonna keep me warm, you know, into the fall, probably not into the winter, but definitely into the fall. So I'm pretty stoked on this pickup. Last year I tried to get one, but they sold out pretty quickly. So if you want to try their hoodies out, I would move on that one quick as we get into the colder weather. So jump on that. Next thing that we have up is the belts. I really like the belts. I have two of those, so let's grab those. And so far I've picked up two of these belts. I've got the black and white offset one and this white and gray one. This one I've had for a year so far, no fraying or falling apart yet. This one I've had for maybe half a year so far, same thing. Just a really simple belt, but they have a couple nice touches on there. Nice metal clasp on it, with their logo etched in on this part right here. And they even have their logo over here on the end of the belt stamped into the leather. So these are gonna come in sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, they have the corresponding waist sizes online. And this is a small, this is a small size. And I like the way that it fits. I don't like a bunch of belt hanging off through the belt loop. So having a small with that size waistband leaves me just 
probably to there a couple inches just to fit through that last belt loop and just not be hanging out. These belts are super, super stretchy. I've been wearing this one for a year and like I said, there's no showing of any kind of wear on it. I do feel like this is the best bang for your buck as far as their products go. Um, online, they're 35 bucks. If you use my discount code, get the 15% off, it's gonna bring it down below $30. I don't think you're gonna find anything for lesser than $30 anywheres with this type of quality. So definitely worth checking these out too. Don't sleep on them. So final thoughts on all the Primo products that I have. Number one, I would say my favorite is probably this, the bladed collar shirt, period. The joggers are really nice for casual wear and for dressing up a little bit like a business, not a business, but a casual dress up pant. I wear these to work, wear them to church. I'll wear them casually around and I could go play around with golf in them. If you wanna see what these products look like out on the course, check out some of my other videos. I'm sure if you click on any one of them, I'm wearing something from Primo, so you get an idea how they look and how they move out on the course. Last year, I did a review on just the joggers and everything that I said in that video still holds up true to this day, so you can check out that video as well for a more in-depth dive into the joggers. I'll link that video below as well. All right, so if you did find this video helpful, please leave me a like down below. Let me know that I did a good job. If you're in the market for some of this Primo gear, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking for. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. I'll respond to all my comments down below. If you want to, you could even subscribe to the channel. That's awesome too. Don't forget the link for Primo I'm gonna put down below along with my discount code, save yourself 15%. And I think that's it. So as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.